Hello, my friends. You have arrived. All right. I got my nice glam Joker Halloween makeup look that I created this year or during Halloween. If you guys want to watch it, keep watching. And if you enjoy it, please hit the like button. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. First, I'm going to start with a Joker smile. And I picked up some Elmer School Glue and I added nice three thin coats of the glue. I also used my blow dryer to help it dry a little bit faster. Then for my brows, I used the stick glue and I put three coats for my brows as well. And then a quick prime for my eyelids. I'm going to go ahead and set these brows with some nice powder. And then from there, I want to conceal them. So to do that, I picked up some of my concealer and then I mixed some orange eyeshadow into it because I didn't have like an orange concealer to help kind of like color correct for that so orange shadow works perfect so just mix it together and it'll help you to kind of hide away those brows because later we're going to add brows but I'm going to add them much higher so from here I picked up my lightest foundation that I have and I tried to avoid where I put down the Elmer's glue for the smile and then just whipped it everywhere else and a little bit down my neck as well now this beauty blender is amazing it's like ginormous I can't remember if it's from real techniques I'm not 100% sure but I'll have it in the description box uh, excuse me in the description box for you guys so check that out it's super helpful and you can blend stuff out really fast. Now for the concealer, I went ahead and added a white concealer. This is a nice concealer from Kat Von D. I use it like all the time, especially for creative makeup looks. So that helps kind of pell up my face a little more. Now using some high definition powder, I'm gonna go ahead and set it shadow time so here I'm just packing on some nice purple beautiful purple shadow and this is great because if you're like oh my gosh my makeup I do it so sloppily this is a great creative makeup look for you because you can be so sloppy so you're gonna bring it really far into the inner corner a little bit towards the inner portion um, near your nose and then very high like almost like up to where your brow is so once I've created a shape I like I'm then gonna pick up a nice black shadow and here it is it's like the word of this tutorial, sloppily. So very, very sloppily. I'm gonna blend it in with the purple and then try to coat it and pack it on my brow there as much as I can and then lift and blend it up. So I'm trying to make more of a, not a complete circle, kind of a sloppy circle, but um, don't point it at the top, make it a little bit more rounded. From there, I'm gonna take a nice red glide on pencil and add that to my waterline. And once again, very sloppily, we're gonna add that red shadow and we're gonna pull it down pretty far. Once I have that nice and blended out and you just look like you've had quite a few rough days, maybe a rough life, you are ready to move on. So we're now going to pick up the purple, um, uh, the brush that we used to, to put on the purple shadow and I'm just going to brush this back and forth under my eyes. So it just gives it a little bit of a nice hue of purple. So don't add any more product. Then with that same brush that we added the black, don't add more product. Just kind of stamp around a little bit to kind of make it a little bit more like messy and dirty looking. Then from here I use some Duraline from Inklot and I mixed it with some red eyeshadow and then with a very tiny, tiny detailed uh, pencil, or I'm sorry, not pencil, um, makeup brush, I went ahead and added some veins under my eyes because let's, let's be honest, Joker's had it rough. And this glam Joker girl, she's had it real rough. So there we go. Okay, I like it. Now <laughs> I'm going to add my false lashes and mascara off camera and then the brows. Oh, I was, uh, I almost wasn't going to do brows and then I was so glad that I did because I love the way these turned out. So I also use the Duraline again with some green shadow and mix that together. If you would like to see a video on how I do that with the Duraline, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to share. So once I have the shape I want with the green, I went ahead and picked up a very nice pointy sharp liquid eyeliner and added some more uh, eyebrow hairs there to kind of make it really big bushy and just kind of sloppily so I keep filling and filling for my nose I wanted it very nice and contoured so I try to keep it very tiny and thin on the top of my nose bring it to a little point and then blend it out just a little bit so the lines aren't too harsh and now why so serious <laughs> the smile with some tiny scissors I'm gonna go ahead and cut that glue right from the corner of my mouth and don't go all the way just get to about where it's almost to the end then with some red liquid lipstick Again, very sloppily, we're gonna add this 
uh, all around the wound. So covering all the glue across your mouth. And again, you there, you just you don't want to get too crazy, I guess, carried away. Just kind of keep it on the glue and go a little bit past it. Uh, and it's nice that the glue starts to kind of rip off in a couple places because it almost looks like flesh and it's perfect. Now with the red, I did kind of set it with some red shadow. I didn't get that part, but do that and then add the black. Now once um, I got some black on there and I'm just kind of really defining it, I'm gonna do a little bit more. So here we go. And adding a little more for a little bit of dimension. Around the edge of the wound, I mixed together some of the concealer and foundation just to kind of blend that out a little bit more. And then added some black shadow to the inner portion of my mouth. Now, this is like glam joker, so I had to hit some highlight. Bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, and even though we're gory, we gotta hit sexy, sexy time, cupid's bow. Now, I wanted it to be like, I just got my wound, so it's like gory and like bloody looking and just like, oh God, you've had a rough day, rough life, rough everything. And I ad added a little like homemade blood concoction. So if you'd like to know what that is, check out the description box below. Oh, uh, hurts so good. And now here, <laughs> I added my green wig, and became the glam joker halloween creation thanks for watching and all of my makeup lovers and curl friends i hope you guys come back next monday for another video take care and stay spooky